I'm Jordan with Rego Rents, and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the Giller Plus sampling pump with a Mesa Labs BIOS Defender. Uh, this is the BIOS Defender 520. Okay, so first let me just show you a few things with the BIOS Defender. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this. One of the things that I recommend to people is to just go into the diagnostics, do a quick leak test, it takes maybe about five minutes. Uh, and this is just to test the basic functionality of the calibrator. Just wanna make sure that there's no leaks in here because that of course is gonna affect your ability to take these calibration measurements. Now, something to note in here uh, is the number in the average. So in the readings, uh, portion of the setup menu. Um, basically, you have three different measurement modes on here. There's single, there's continuous, and there's burst. And this number in average is going to affect the burst and the continuous measurements. So it's gonna average whatever number you put in here. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit of that as we go into the calibration. So we'll go to the measure menu. And this is where you'll see those options, single, continuous, and burst. I like the continuous, makes things pretty simple. Uh, single is just going to take a measurement every time that you hit enter. So it's not gonna do anything until you hit enter. And if we do continuous, it's just gonna keep going. Uh, so that's the continuous, and of course it'll do that once we, it won't actually do anything until we start pulling air with the pump. So that's another thing to note here on the continuous and the burst. Um, but like I said, I like to do the continuous, so we'll go with that. So I'll set this aside here, and I'll show you the Giller Plus. So these are pretty simple once this starts up here. We got a little battery. Uh, so first what you wanna do, uh, you're gonna want to calibrate to the flow, or you're gonna wanna set the flow rate to uh, what you're trying to calibrate to. So in this case, we'll just leave it at 2500, but to do that, you'll hit the check mark button here, and then you can change that flow with these plus and minus buttons. But we're gonna go ahead and leave it at the 2500. You'll hit the check mark again, just to save it. Then we're gonna go to the calibrate menu and it, this is gonna start running. So, we do want to hook this up with our sample train, as they say, right? So however you're gonna be sampling with the employee, you wanna make sure that you set things up the same way when you're calibrating. Uh, so you'll use a calibration cassette. This is gonna be the same cassette you're using for your sampling, but you want to use the same one uh, only for calibration for all of your pumps, because this is not gonna be a sample. And make sure we hook that up so the inlet is on the bottom, and we've got the outlet on top, so that's what we're plugging into this cassette here. And now, now we have that set, and there's two different ports on the BIOS Defender, so you can actually calibrate with things that are either sucking air, such as this pump, or something that's pushing air, like a a gas regulator, something like that. So we'll hook this up to the suction port. Get that on here. Okay. So, got that. I can plug this into the cassette here. And you can see already, we're getting measurements here on the BIOS Defender. And this is just gonna keep going and going and you'll see it gives you the real flow rate along with an average of your measurements. So right now, we're trying to calibrate to 2,500, which is 2.5 liters per minute. So after that 10, it averaged 2.43 pretty much, 2.44 we'll say. Um, so what we're gonna do here on the pump is it's showing what the flow rate is that we're trying to achieve. So we need to match what's on the defender here. So using the plus and minus buttons, we're gonna drop this down to match what the calibrator is showing. So we'll go with 2.45. So that would be 2,450. This is showing in cc's per minute here. And then we'll hit the check button. So you'll see this is gonna go back to 2,500. The pump has made an adjustment. 
and now we're reading pretty much right where we want. So once you get to the point that you want, which this is pretty close, I can make another small adjustment here. 2495, because that seems to be where we were at there. But actually now it's okay. So this is this just shows you why you want to get an average over time, uh, because that pump is not going to be exactly the same for each measurement. So best to get an average. And actually this is a little too high now. So I can even make the adjustment again. We'll say the 225, actually 2.506 is pretty good. So you know what, this is okay. Uh, so once you get to that desired flow rate and you're happy with the calibration, you'll hit the check mark again and your calibration is complete. And that is it. That's how you calibrate the Gillette Air Plus pump with the BIOS Defender. Thanks for watching the video today on the BIOS Defender and the Gillette Air Plus sampling pump. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 866-736-8347. Thanks for watching.